Hello, everybody. My name is Tom, and I am finally back after being away since the end of two shows ago when I got taken out by the Executioner. I thank Ricardo Santiago for filling in for me the re beginning of the show. I re thank Billy Stevenson for filling in for me back at Fight for Honor. But Tom is back, and I'm going to be commentating for the next match here is a tag team match featuring two of the four members of Dragoon's Den, Nick Dragoon and Cody CW, being accompanied by Lijak, being accompanied by Keith Cross, taking on two legendary Japanese professional wrestlers, Jushin Thunder Liger and the Great Muta. This match came about when we were going to Japan. Pretty much, Dragoon's Den called out Japan. They called out Japanese wrestling. They said they were going to come to Japan. They were going to make a statement, and they were going to put their name up there among the greatest factions in professional wrestling because they're going to come to Japan and call out the greats, Jushin Thunder Liger, and Great Muda answered the challenge. And tonight, we see a cross-brand match of Nick Dragoon and Cody CW taking on two great legends to solidify their own career. And the fans here in Japan, in Tokyo, are standing up on their feet for this legendary tag team match coming your way. Oh my god. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 468 pounds, the Infiltrators! We got Nick Dragoon and Cody CW being accompanied to the ring by Keith Cross and Lijak. These men have made it a mission to get their names known here in CKW and to pretty much cause a ruckus. Not so much to the extent of what the Wozniak Institution has been doing, trying to destroy and cause all-out chaos. And Extreme Defiance has been doing by just trying to break every damn rule in the book and just you know, put down everybody and make fun of everybody and go after everybody. There's a thing here going on with Nick Dragoon since his change. For those of you that remembered him from Season 1 when he was like the happy-go-lucky good guy, like almost a complete underdog. The wrestler that you know, he stood up tall and he tried to make a name for himself. He almost won last season's King of Kroger tournament. He made it to the he made it to the semifinals against Jeremy Rose in bracket <clears throat> A. He he was a big star. He fought freaking legends. He won and took on Takamisha Noku of all people. He was there, but after his loss at Kroganza, he stole the Chaos Championship from Jeremy Rose, battled for it over the beginning of this season, this total shift and change, losing the hair on his head, growing the hair on his face, and becoming this dark, boating character. And then he found a follower in Keith Cross, and then Cody CW turned on Guantanamo and joined the group, and then Lijak joined the group, and pretty much the whole mission of Dragoon's Den, Dragoon Nick Dragoon is trying to find the wrestlers that this company, according to him, have been putting down. Wrestlers that deserve more of a push, more of a spotlight, more of a chance to prove themselves. Which, in essence, is a main thing. 
it's an honorable thing, but the way he's going about it by going after everybody else on this and roster. Your opponents first from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 209 pounds. Jushin Thunder Liger. Where does this announcer learn to do his damn job? But speaking of which, like I said, Nick Dragoon, it's an honorable mention. He's trying to pick up wrestlers that he feels deserves better, which is also kind of being a narcissist because he puts himself in that camp. But he's picked these wrestlers out and allowed Lijak to join and got, you know, Keith Cross and brought on Cody CW because wrestlers that he feels needs more of a spotlight and needs more of a chance to prove themselves but they're going about it almost all the wrong way and they're putting down and burning almost every bridge in the process to try to get their name out there like this for example calling out japan and calling out the legends of japan to defend their country in a tag team match here at sin punishment my what the hell kind of narcissist do you have to be to freaking try to take on a, essentially a whole country and his partner from Japan, weighing in at 243 pounds, the great Muta. And then they call out, and these two men, Jushin Liger has had a few crossover appearances on CKW before. We When we went to Japan, I think last season, I think it was Thrash Corps that took on Jushin Thunder Liger. Great Muta took on Rico Suave a season ago in a freaking hellacious fight, like back and forth with Great Muda barely walking out the victory there. And if you know Great Muda, he brings it. He really is one of the most legendary wrestlers, not just from Japan, but in like the whole damn sp sport. <laughs> and for these two of all people to answer the Dragoons, then they are getting what you would consider noticed. And here we go, folks. This tag match starts right now. And Jushin Liger, oh! Goes for the kick. He's telling him to bring it on. He's telling him to get up. Oh, no. Snap there from Dragoon. Kicking him while he's down. Kicking him. And then Nick throws him into the turnbuckle. Tags in Cody. Snap there. And then... Jumped up! Diving knee off the assist. <laughs> Trying to go for a pin right away, but not even a one count. Not even a one count. And now Cody trying to show off here and strangle with a headlock to the Liger. And he's just dragging Liger across the ring. But we have freaking Lijak and Cross just watching from the outside. <laughs> and choosing Liger. Oh, elbow to the knee and chop. Oh, Greg takes down Cody. Liger throwing him into the corner. Is he going? For yes. He tagged in Muda. And now he's assisting Muda with a diving splash! And he was trying to go Craig, but Muda's not letting him go. Muda going for those kicks, going for the... No! Punch takes down Muda. Takes down Muda. There's definitely an age difference here, and that could very well come into effect for Dragoon and Cody. But the experience, especially added together of Muda and Liger, is not something you want to mess around with and take like oh he missed a kick <laughs> it's thrown into the turnbuckle but Muda catches catches no Muda gets put into an arm bar from Dragoon oh and he does a running whatever the hell that was to freaking Muda's leg and he tags in Cody We got Cody. Oh, God. Cody going straight for Liger. And our Japanese announce team. And now, oh, my God. Outside the ring, we got we got freaking Dragoon. I mean, we got Keith Cross. We got freaking Keith and Lijak coming for Liger and Muda. Two. 
and he caught him. Drops him face first. And now Muda trying to scare off freaking these two. And then he goes right over. And now he's showing off to Nick Dragoon. And he goes for a punch. Oh! He took his eyes off of Cody. Oh! oh. He dived and splashed him. And he throws him into the turnbuckle. He throws in Cody. He throws in Nick. Oh God, the Muda, great Muda! Ah! And the fans here in Japan, they are going crazy for their hometown heroes. And Nick just trying to retreat. And Cody, he's telling Cody to bring it on. For someone, Muda still has it. And we have Liger keeping an eye on Cross and Lijak. And Cody gets back in the ring and gets caught. It's caught. Oh! Trying to rush back in the ring and is not able to take advantage of it. Kick. Oh, and they missed the kick. And he goes for it. Back. Snowblast. And he tags in Cro Nick Dragoon and Great Muda. Oh! Goes for a kick and misses. They both missed each other. Oh, God, no. He drops him with the backwards DDT. The reverse DDT. And he goes rolling outside the ring. And he's telling him to bring it on the fans around their feet. For Muda. For the great Muta. We got Liger tagged back in. And we got the fans here are all almost on their feet. Cody coming back up, but it's Nick that's tagged in. Where the hell is Nick laying on the... There he is. Four. Nick telling him. And Liger goes for the kick and misses. Nick gets a kick and catches him with the... Hey! hey. Oh, and he breaks out... That wasn't even a one count. That was like a .75 count. And he throws Liger in there. And he goes for a punch on the turnbuckle. And he throws him back in there. What in the world's Nick going for? Oh, but no. No, 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 no. Oh, he drops Liger on his face from the knee. And Liger... Liger having it. Oh, Liger breaks free. Liger, the adrenaline must be kicking in here at Ajinomoto Stadium in Tokyo. And we got him going. He's showing off here. Oh, God, no. I, don't, I think it, right, definitely Cody and Nick are rushing too much into this match. They did not anticipate that Liger. And Muda could still go this strong all these years later. And we got him hyping up the crowd. He's hyping them up. And Keith Cross and Lyja are trying to keep their distance. Diving splash onto Nick. We're setting the count. And he brings him back into the ring. I, yeah, he did, yeah. Elbow strike to the face. And he has him up for a... Liger Bomb! Oh, it's through the rope, Scott! That could have ended the match. Muda, Muda tags in. Muda. He's telling him he wants him up. He wants him up. He wants him up. Nick Dragoon. Yeah. Hey, Nick Dragoon using rolling out of the ring like the, for the fourth time this match, trying to get some distance. And he's just telling him to bring it on.
And now we have Muda focusing on. He just knocks him down. It, it's literally four on two, essentially. It seems like Muda and Liger are handling themselves quite well. Oh, he gets back in the ring. And he throws Muda across the ropes. And he caught him. And a kick. Oh, he missed it. Oh, another kick. No, he doesn't do that. Well, off the ropes. Off the ropes again. Oh, and a punch across the ropes as he goes flying into the other rope. Muda drops him with a back neckbreaker. Oh, and a kick. Nick Dragoon having enough adrenaline to get back in their strike. And we have Muda rolling out of the ring now. And he punches down Liger. These two teams, these fans in Tokyo. And now we have Nick Dragoon just showing off to these people. And he's just beating up Liger. He's not even beating it. And he just punched him up the side of the back of the head. He's going after him. Nick just shook off a freaking punch in the back of the head from freaking Muda. He throws him back in the ring. Muda not having any part of that. Oh, he tried to stop him. But here comes Cody. And comes Cody. Oh, and an elbow strike from Cody. While we have Lijek going and having this schizophrenic attack outside the ring. Doing whatever the hell he's doing. Trying to pump up Nick Dragoon. Keith Cross coming over there too. Headlock. Oh. The great Muda drops him with the Zupla. They keep using the ropes. Muda's getting a little pissed here. They keep rolling out of the ring. And he just sends him back down the ring. He goes up. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Muda, oh my god, Muda's like 50 years old. He just decided to dive over the ropes. Oh. Kick to the head. Muda's going up top. Muda's going up top. Muda. No. Oh. Oh. Cody able to get up. Throws him. Cross the ropes. No. Oh. Muda not having any. Oh. No. A clothesline. From Cody to the great Muda. He's trying to go for a pin. Oh, not even a one count this far into the match. Muda still will not go down without a fight. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, go, Cody, Cody, go, go, go. Oh! And he rolls outside the ring. That's like the eighth time this team has rolled out of the ring this match. And we got great Muda spearing in the mist. It's getting a little tiresome seeing them flying out of the ring like that. They're trying to retreat and it's doing nothing. And he just takes him down. He has his eyes set. He gets back there and Cody's just watching. He doesn't know what the hell. I don't think Co Cody has never fought. Ever oh, Connor! Will that be enough? Take him down one. Holy hell! Cody! Catching Muda off guard. Muda having his sights set on. Nick Dragoon, <laughs> he comes back in the ring and Cody like sidelines him with a freaking cutter face playing Muda into the mat. You had to assume all those adrenaline boosts all that time during the match. Muda just kept getting up, would not go down, <laughs> and he gets dropped face first. Get the win. The My god. The blood dripping down. 
Nick's face, but Dragoon's Den survives here tonight.